This is going to be an energy reading for Libra. If you are Libra, this energy reading is going to be for you, love. Okay? I heard be mindful of your surroundings. Okay? This could be about a friends group, a community, your neighbors, even your family. Okay? Just be mindful of your surroundings. Okay? Because I feel like there's someone okay, around you who's working against you. Okay? They don't really like you. They're trying to find a way, okay, to, I don't know, um, prey on you. Because that's what I'm hearing. So this could be someone who's like a predator. Okay? Or again, these are just individuals or an individual, okay, who doesn't really like you. Okay, who wants to cause some type of conflict, okay, for you. Okay, this could be an unhealthy environment. Maybe you need to move. Libra, well, let's see. For Libra, what does Libra need to know? I definitely see a negative vibe in your energy. Okay, this could be someone very narcissistic if they're not a narc. Okay, and they could be keeping you in the dark about working against you. This could be someone that you think is friendly, 111 on timestamp. You might think they cool, but they playing a role. Okay, for some, it's somebody who's trying to get close to you just to see how they could be able to throw you under the bus, okay, make you out to be the bad guy or whatever, or maybe even isolate you. Okay, so let's see. For Libra Spirit, what does Libra needs to know what does Libras need to know I ask my higher self the most high and the ascended masters to help me send to the reading I don't know if I said this but 111 was on the timestamp that brings new beginnings okay at the top of the deck you guys have I'm learning how to better communicate Okay, so someone could be learning how to better communicate, but I'm seeing times up here and miscommunication is behind there. So this could have been someone who you had some type of miscommunication with. Okay, whatever they had planned, whatever they were doing, it's time's up. Okay, keep close watch, fell on the floor. So again, you may need to be observant. Okay, pay attention to your surroundings, keep close watch. Okay. So let's see, because someone could be intentionally trying to miscommunicate with you. You could be learning how to better communicate, you know, being open with communication, you know, and there's somebody who wants to misunderstand you intentionally, okay? So let's see, for Libra, what does Libra need to know? We have, remember the time, okay? I feel like you're gonna bring up something to somebody like, you remember when you did this, or you remember when you said that, and they're going to act like they don't recall. So be mindful. Okay, let's see. For Libra, what does Libra need to know? Single life wanted to come out. So you could be single. Okay, someone could be trying to make you out like you were. Uh -huh. Okay, not saying that you are. Okay, but again, this could be someone who's trying to make you out to be one. So let's see. This could be someone who's obsessed with you, a karmic. Yep, that's a karmic. Okay. Oh, yeah. Be mindful. Okay. Let's see. You guys have impatient. You could be growing impatient with this person, or maybe this person is acting like they're impatient with you. Okay. Like you talk too much or you do too much. I don't know. Be mindful. Okay. Patience is a kind greatness. Uh, is a great kindness. Okay. So maybe you were really patient with this person, you know, being kind to this person. You know, and this person wants to act like you were some type of way. I'm seeing jail here, okay? I do have a spiritual jail card. So this could be someone who went to jail, has a record, um, is going to jail, take out resonates for you, okay? Something may happen in public, public display, okay? Someone might try to miscommunicate with you in public, okay? Try to have some type of disagreement or turn into an argument, okay? So let's see. For Libra, we got... Where do you think you're going? Okay. Someone wants to know where you think you're going. So if you are moving away from somebody or you're distancing yourself from someone, they want to know where you think you're going. Okay. Because I feel like this is someone who um, is a monitoring spirit. Okay. We got, it's a wrap for you, baby. It's time's up for this person. It's a wrap. So whatever they were trying to monitor you about, okay, trying to make you out to be a certain way. Okay. Time's up. All right. Let's see. 
You guys have avoided. This could be someone who's an avoided, okay, or anxious. Maybe you were very anxious around this person. That's your nervous system telling you, okay, that you need to be mindful. Keep close watch on whoever this is, okay, because there's a reason why, okay, you're feeling anxious around this person. And it's time's up for this. It's time's up. It's a wrap for them, baby. Okay, because period. So let's see. For Libra, you guys have writing on the wall. This is someone who's keeping something secret. They're keeping you in the dark about something. Okay, and I feel like they're keeping you in the dark about trying to work against you. Now, this could be one person, okay, who's really just trying to, like, test you, trigger you, okay? Or this could be someone who's trying to involve other people to try to test you, trigger you. So, be mindful, okay? For Libra, what does Libra need to know? We got karma and let it right on top of karmic. No bullshit. <laughs> Okay, so this is a karmic who's going through karma. If they did try to trigger you in some type of way, okay, get you involved in something that you weren't, you know, supposed to be involved in or, you know, and whatever it is, they're receiving karma for it. Okay, whoever says you read them like an open book. You read this person like an open book. You already know what type of time they own, Libra. So trust yourself, okay, especially if you've been keeping close watch. Air signs here. It could be another air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Okay, who's praying on you? I just seen pray, uh, Predator right behind that. Predator was right behind that. Okay. The love you give is like no other. So this could be, you could be very loving. Okay, even loving toward this person. Whether this is platonic, familiar, like family. Okay, or romantic. Like you were very loving towards this person. And then they trying to act like they all impatient with you. And you getting on their nerves and whatever. Okay, let's see for Libra. We got reassurance. Okay, you may want to re reinsurance when it comes to this person, but they're intentionally keeping you in the dark. They came out twice. I keep you in the dark. This came out twice. So somebody is keeping you in the dark about something. Okay, you may receive a message on Facebook Messenger. That can be significant. Let's see for Libra. This is somebody really toxic, y'all. Okay, boundaries needed. So this could be someone that you need to set boundaries with. But they're trying to throw you off. Okay. Let's see for Libra spirit. You got holding back. Okay, so this could be someone who's holding back how it is they feel or they're holding back information. They could be holding back the reasons to why, okay, they come around you. Okay, for Libra. We have, I like that we communicate effectively. Okay, this could be, it came out of reverse. So this could be someone who you don't really communicate with well. You know, they disagree with what you say. They're always opposing of whatever it is you saying. They act like they impatient. They act like they're annoyed. Okay, this is someone who's in need of better communication. It's something about you speaking. How you speak, what you say. Maybe you speak up for yourself or you speak the truth. Or, you know, you see things with keep close watch. You see things and you speak up on what it is you see. They don't like that. Especially if this is someone who's trying to keep you in the dark about things. And you reading their ears like open book. Read their ears. Tell your truth. Okay? You may even need to save your space. Okay? If you allow this person in your space. Like in your home. Okay? Because they be bringing negative entities into your energy. Okay? So let's see. Cycles. This could be someone's going through a repetitive cycle with cycles um in reverse. Okay? Scorpio energy could be significant. For Libra spirit. We have that's my best friend. Could be someone you're very close to. A friend. Who's really an enemy a friend who's really an enemy libra so be mindful of that okay this could be someone who wants a second chance another opportunity but remember we we got times up okay it's a wrap for this person and dead end no more second chances right behind there so i feel like no more second chances it's a dead end this is definitely someone who is low-key envious of you okay let's see for libra what does libra need to know we got communicate whoever this is they're going to communicate Okay, Pisces at the top of the deck for Libra. For some, they may communicate to you to start some type of unnecessary drama. So be mindful, okay? Because it's whoever this is, they're making their return. Okay. For Libra, you guys have, I just can't wait to be king. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. Like you got a divine masculine in your energy. Okay, if you are with your divine masculine or you're about to meet your divine masculine, okay, this could be someone who's hating on your connection. All right, I cheated myself. You also have someone who feels like they cheated themselves in a connection. Okay, let's see. The karmic doesn't like you. Is it the top of the deck? 
Okay, they don't like you. All right, this could be a karmic friend. So let's see. Four Libra. Two faced is here too. So this could be someone very two faced. Okay, they kiki key, key, key and have fun with you in your face and then they turn around and talk shit. Okay, for Libra, Leo energy came out and Narc is here. Okay, this could be someone who uh, has low self esteem, lacks confidence. Okay, they could be envious of your confidence. All right, let's see for Libra. We have an I play game. Somebody plays game. It's too old for games. Who where this is? It's too old for games. Okay. All right. You do have someone in your energy who's all in. Okay. I'm seeing a karmic lesson here. So you have a karmic lesson coming up. Capricorn energy could be significant. All right. For Libra, you make me laugh. I think you're funny. Okay, you got somebody who feels like, you know, you're funny, you're humorous, okay? But then you got somebody who be laughing and pretending on, uh, pretending to laugh at your jokes. They don't think that you're really funny, they be laughing at you. Not with you, they be laughing at you, whoever this karmic is. This karmic lesson, who you, whoever you gonna have this karmic lesson with. Okay, so let's see for Libra. One more for Libra. You guys have the thought of you make me smile. And the thought of you makes me sick. So you got two energies, Libra. You got a karmic in your energy, okay? who is a monitoring spirit. They want to know what it is that you're doing. They're trying to cause conflict for you. Okay, they can be keeping close watch on you. You'll be keeping close watch on this person, being observant, paying attention to your surroundings or you need to. Okay, because one of these people, it's a dead end. No second chances, none of that. Okay, you might even have someone who wants to make a return who is stepping into their divinity. So use your discernment, 1144 on the timestamp. Trust your intuition when it comes to these energies, okay? Because one of these energies is a hater. They're envious of you, okay? They acting like you getting on their nerves. I wouldn't want to be around nobody who act like I get on their nerves. I get on your nerves? Get the fuck from around me. You feel me? Okay, so somebody you need to shoot. Shoot their ass. Shoot them. Okay? Okay, lead them where the head you fucked up at. Now, this other person, okay, could be a returning person, doesn't have to be, okay? But regardless, this could either be an old person coming in and new energy. You know, they're stepping into their divinity. They enjoy spending time with you. They enjoy being around you. You make this person smile. You make them laugh, you know? And then you got somebody who's the opposite energy. So be mindful. At the top of the deck, we got trying to forget about you. Somebody's trying to forget about you, okay? But they can't help but reminisce, okay? Well, do you remember the time reminiscing that came out twice? So maybe you're gonna go down memory lane with one of these people, okay? But I feel like, or it might be both. If these are two different people uh, of the past that's trying to return. So be mindful because it could be a new energy, but it's kind of giving me like two different people who's returning from the past. Now, one of these people, y'all might go down memory lane, laugh a little bit, okay? You know, sharing the good memories. And then it's somebody else who you gonna remember possibly something bad that happened and you're gonna ask them about it or say something about it because they might remember things different. They're like, oh, everything was good. I was so good to you. You know, woo woo. And you're like, well, I recall it like this. And they're going to be like, well, I don't recall. So it's kind of giving me this is someone who's going to try to gaslight you. Okay, Libra. We got, let's have a baby. All right. Somebody might come in trying to get you pregnant. Okay. We got eat more fruit. Oh, wait. Eat it from the back. I'm sorry. <laughs> eat it from the back. Eat it. <laughs> Somebody will see it from the back, okay? Tell y'all somebody, oh, something old is coming. Somebody from the past is coming. Okay, they might even give you something, um, something old. Now, let's say you gave them a gift or they gave you a gift and they took it back. Because it's giving kind of Indian giver. Just giving an Indian giver. They took something back from you and now they want to give it back to you. Okay, so be mindful because when these people are spread, uh, Raising spiritual warfare against you, okay? And I feel like you're already closed out the cycle with this person, okay? And you do have someone whose emotions run deep for you, okay, in your energy. So be mindful, okay? Because one of these energies are for you, and one of these energies are opposing you. They're against you, okay? Explain the deck. We got the Queen of Swords and the Chariot card. Queen of Swords is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. The Chariot card is Cancer Energy. So I feel like you're moving on from one of these energies, okay? Maybe even both. Okay, on to something new, because I'm hearing that too. Maybe like, I'm moving on from something old. I don't want nothing old. I just, I want something new, okay? Being smart about your choice to move on. Okay, change your direction, your focus. You may also have someone who wants to travel towards you. So let's see. Libra spirit, what does? Libra needs to know. Six of cups, somebody's been very nostalgic about you. Okay, this is someone who has been manifesting you. 
okay for some it could be you maybe you're um manifesting travel okay so you could be booking a trip okay traveling more okay so let's see for libra what does libra need to know or you working towards that okay you'll be working towards getting you a new car for libra what does libras you know, you definitely have somebody who's at a travel in distance, or maybe you're thinking about traveling the world or discovering the world. I don't know, but let's see at the bottom of the deck where you could work, do some type of travel work. Okay, take out resonance for you. We got the high priestess here, Pisces, Cancer energy. Trust your intuition about this new beginning. Okay, because you have a soulmate in your energy. All right, with the two of cups here, Aries, Cancer energy. So let's see. For Libra. We have the moon card here, but there's someone who's keeping you in the dark, keeping secrets. This is someone who's trying to create some type of illusion. All right, they're also wearing a mask. All right, so be mindful. Let's see for Libra. What does Libra need to know? You guys have the hangman card in reverse. Whoever this is, they feel stuck and stagnant. Okay, this is someone with rose-colored glasses on. They're not seeing clearly. Okay, maybe they're allowing doubts and fears to get in the way from, you know, them changing their direction and their focus. We have the Six of Swords, but I see moving on from this person. Whoever this is that betrayed you, stabs you in the back. Gemini, Aquarius energy. Okay, someone could have been talking ill will about you. Okay, you could have been even in your head about this or whether or not somebody liked you or not. Okay, but I see moving on from that. Okay, with the judgment card or the judgment card, you made some type of judgment. I feel like to move on from this, move beyond it. Okay, as you self assess, as you went with the end, maybe you seen that somebody, you know, wasn't seeing things clearly. Okay, possibly even about you. This could have been someone, like I said, who had a certain idea or thought about you. You know, they want to make you out to be a certain way. So they was doing some type of smear campaign with the Ten of Swords here. Okay, wanted others to feel the same way they felt about you. Okay, you could have made a judgment call to just move on from this person. So let's see. For Libra, what does Libra need to know? You guys have the Empress card here. You're divine feminine. You could be a mom. Okay, some of you guys could be pregnant. It doesn't have to be. Okay, you could be birthing something new or just sitting in your, uh, you're sitting in your divinity. Okay, looking pretty. All right, so let's see. For Libra, what does Libra need to know? As you plan for your future, whatever it is that you've been manifesting, okay, and this could be travel, okay? So let's see. For Libra, we have the Five of Cups here, Scorpio energy. There could be someone who's um, disappointed, sad, okay, at the fact that you created distance between them and you, okay? This could be someone who's very depressed, okay? They could be keeping that hidden, that they, they, they've they been suppressing their emotions. The moon card is also about suppressed emotions. 18, 18 and timestamp. It's going to be someone who's suppressing their emotions. They don't want you to see that they're depressed. Okay, they feel some type of way possibly about themselves and their future. And they want you to feel betrayed in some type of way. But with the will of fortune here, you were destined or fated to meet this person. Sagittarius energy. Okay, whoever this is though, they're a snake. Okay, the letters A could be significant. T, O, L. R F W J E are significant. Let's see. For Libra, we have a star card here. This could have been a catalyst for you to make some type of change to turn things around in your life. Okay, to choose healing, to move on from someone who was intentionally betraying you. Okay, causing some type of um spreading some type of miscommunication. Is what I'm getting. Untruths. Like, it's not even true. Whatever it is that they've been, they've been trying to talk about you about. Okay. But I see you healing from that. Aquarius energy. The Eight of Wands came out or about to came out. So this could be someone who wants to communicate to you. But be mindful of this person being very negative and pessimistic. They may act like they're cool. Okay, but I feel like deep down inside is a negative individual. Believer, you guys have the magician card in reverse and they're manipulative. Virgo, Gemini energy. 
they manipulate with their words. So I feel like they intentionally try to mis uh, you know misunderstand you or miscommunicate to you. Okay, to manipulate what it is that you're saying. All right, we got the Five of Swords here, Aquarius. Heavy Aquarius energy. This is someone who plays mind games. They like to cause confusion because they're conflicted. They're confused. This could be someone who has um, mental issues. Okay, somebody's holding their head. This could be someone who feels really defeated. They could be severely depressed. Okay, dealing with a lot of anxiety. Whoever this is, they're going to communicate with Eight of Wands. Sagittarius energy. Okay. I also see some um, positive communication. Something that's going to make you happy. Okay, you also be getting more rest. For Libra, we have the Page of Pentacles here. If this person is in a commitment with somebody, they're trying to confuse them. Have them in the dark about something or about you. Because if this person is dealing with another person, they want someone to be conflicted about you. They want them to feel some type of way about you. This could be a family member, a loved one, a lover. Okay, that they're breadcrumbing. Or this lover or friend or family, whatever is uh, breadcrumbing them. Yeah, when it comes to their abundance. Okay, this could be someone who wants to breadcrumb your abundance. But I see a new beginning in love. For some, this is even family. Okay, trying to breadcrumb you. Have you confused about going towards um, something that could last long term or you know, um, something that can help you to create abundance. And this could be a plan, new goals, ideas that you're setting. Okay. I'm also seeing a new beginning in love with the Ace of Cups here that you've been receiving signs and synchronicities about. Okay. And someone could want to confuse you about or confuse a love interest about you. Okay. So let's see. Libra, what does Libra need to know? We got the Chariot card in reverse. Cancer energy. This is someone who lacks direction. They don't know what direction they're going in. Okay, they could be having trouble moving on from you for some. Trying to manipulate the direction you're going in. They want to misdirect you. Okay, this could be someone you set boundaries with or you're going to set boundaries with. Sagittarius energy, and that's the truth. Truth of clarity. Okay, this person might want to come in and work things out with you. But remember, we had dead in. No second chances. It's over. It's a wrap for them, baby. I don't know how many times Barry got to tell you it's a no. Okay, but it's a no. All right, so let's see. This is someone who's going to intentionally try to misdirect you. Libra energy coming out. Okay, with the justice card here. I feel like um, things are balancing out for you. Okay, for some, this is someone who could have tried to call the police on you. Okay, if you have children, they could have tried to get you involved with the law when it comes to your kids. Oh, we. It's kind of giving like CPS, Child Protective Services, okay? Someone wanted to kind of get you in trouble with, you know, the police. Uh, whatever it is, I feel like it's not going to work. Either they're going to try to call them and the police ain't going to come. Or, you know, um, they come and they see how you, how honest and fair you are or whatever. And they're just going to be like, you know, whatever. You know, they're going to leave it at that. Y'all might not even answer the door. I don't know. Take out really nice view. I wouldn't answer the door for them if I'm a good parent. I ain't answering the door for nobody calling CPS on me. Okay, but I'm just throwing it out there because for some this could be a thing. Okay, maybe this person doesn't want you to see that. They don't. They want you to be blind to the fact that they've been working against you. So if you are a mom, this could be someone who's a bad parent. Okay, or this is your parent or the friend, family member, whatever. Okay, they envious about you being a good parent. They want to get you in trouble. Okay, have you dealing with legalities? For some, this could be somebody else. They could be dealing with legalities. They could be feeling some type of way because they're dealing with legalities. Police could have got called on them. Okay, and now they have to take accountability for their actions. Okay, 9 11 is here. 1 1 1 is here. 10 11, 10 10. Okay, if it does, I feel like either way, if they call it on you or they had a situation with them, I feel like you're going to take accountability for your actions in a situation. Okay, or this person is going to have to take accountability. And that could be karma. If they call it on you, it might be called on them. So let's see. For Libra, we have the Hermit card here, Virgo energy. You could be going within when it comes to somebody who has been trying to manipulate you. For some, this could be a manipulative mother. Okay. 
this person can be a mother too. Like I said, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily be your mom. Like if this is a friend, they could be a mom too. Okay, a family member, they could be a mom too. Just take it however it takes for you. But I feel like you're going to go within and make a judgment call when it comes to whoever this is that's been trying to manipulate a situation. For some, they're trying to manipulate a court situation with a justice card here and a judgment card here. Someone could be trying to turn things around and manipulate a court situation. Libra, Aquarius, um, Virgo, Gemini energy, heavy Gemini, heavy Aquarius. Okay. Libra, Scorpio energy. So let's see. For Libra, what does Libra need to know? We have the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're a good mom. That's what I'm seeing. You're very nurturing. You're very caring. You're very kind. Okay. Somebody's trying to manipulate you to, th to show it like you're not that. Okay. And if you're not a mom, okay, this could be someone who's trying to get you involved in a court case. Like if this is someone who is a mother and... You know, they got called. It might be a reason to why the police get called, okay? And they got to deal with that type of stuff. So just be mindful of that because you don't want to intercede anybody's karma, especially if you're coming into good dharma and the will of fortune came up upright. So I feel like y'all coming into good fortune, okay? And they might be trying to intercede that, okay? And you're very abundant with the Ten of Pentacles following after. Okay, I see you breaking the generational curse, okay? Keeping that heart chakra open, Coming into a new beginning in love for some. This is a new love start. You could be taking a leap of faith to start new when it comes to love or when it comes to a business. You birthing something new. You building something solid. Okay, you could be building a family. Okay, and there's someone who's trying to have someone confused, create illusions, seven of cups, Scorpio energy. Okay, about you being independent and successful. Okay, this is someone that you already closed the cycle out with. Okay. For some, this is someone who's watching you online. You're going to have a decision to make, okay, when it comes to working with someone who you want to be fair, where it give even reciprocity. This is someone who is in their head overthinking a lot. This could be someone who's dealing with a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights. Okay, they're blindfolded. Somebody's definitely not seeing clearly. I feel like they're not seeing you clearly. Like, they don't see that you're trying to be fair with them. You're not trying to give them... They're not trying to see that you're giving them even reciprocity. They're not trying to see that you've really been putting in the work on yourself. Look at how these cards are blind. Look, they blindfolded too. Blindfolded. Somebody definitely not seeing clearly. They not seeing you for who you are. It's like they haven't made up in their head, Libra, of who the fuck they think you is. And they trying to tell you who you are. That's why you. it's good for you to know who you are and stand in your power. Continue to stand in your power and know who it is that you are. Okay, because this is someone who's trying to make you out to be something that you're not. Okay? And we did have whores, so this could be someone who's trying to make you out to be like that or try to make you out to be like a bad parent. They're trying to create an illusion about you. Whoever this is, they're trying to create an illusion about you. They want somebody's perspective or even a group of people's perspective about you to be what they're seeing. And they're not even seeing clearly. Okay, they're also spreading lies. They're trying to do a smear campaign and spread lies about you. And you ain't even really, you're not even paying attention to this person. You're just moving into common waters, you know, chill. You're healing from some type of betrayal. This is someone who lacks direction. They're severely depressed. They possibly got mental issues. They're suppressing their emotions. And then they feel some type of way about you. This is weird. This is really weird energy. They can even try to say, like, you're, you're codependent. You ask for handouts the whole time. It could be this person. It's kind of giving me like this person is deflecting, projecting, whatever. Okay. Trying to make you out to seem like who they are. Okay. Flipping roles. Because they want somebody to give to them. This is someone who's in their head. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone who's trying to create challenges for you, blockages for you. For some, it's another air sign. A Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Okay. Let's see. The Nine of Cups came out in a challenging position. It came out in a challenging position twice. So I feel like y'all are two totally different energies. You're on a self-love healing journey. You're focusing on your soul search. You know, nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, building generational wealth, having new plans, new goals. Okay, you're healing. Following your north node. Coming into good fortune. And somebody's trying to manipulate that. This is someone who's unhappy with themselves. They're depressed, but they said ass. They're about to piss me off, Libra. They really are. And you've been receiving signs and synchronicities about this. This is someone who wants to give you a fake apology too. So if this is someone you already set boundaries with, you already distanced yourself from, they're gonna come in with this fake ass apology. 
oh, I miss you, um, woo, woo, woo. But they're trying to monitor you. That's what they're trying to do so they can find a way to throw you under the bus, to betray you, to stab you in the back. Whatever information they can find, they're trying to find it so they can throw you under the bus. Okay? I'm trying to tell you, so when it comes to communicating to this person, because the Eight of Wands is here, I will keep, I'll, I'll keep it short and simple, little to no communication, because I feel like whoever this is, they've been exposed, and they're restless, because they're having a tower moment, upheavals, okay? So maybe people are starting to see who you really are and realizing this person is a liar, that they've been lying on you, because they're a hater. Now they want to come and make the, you know, make peace with you. If I give you a fake apology, they might not even really apologize. They just come trying to be nice again with they fake ass. Okay, because it's definitely giving fake. Let's see. We got the five of pentacles. This is someone who's in lack. They be penny pinching with they hand out. You see that person with they hand out? With they hand out. Feeling left out in the cold. Going broke. And they see you attracting abundance. That's the only reason why they're coming back towards you. Okay, this is someone in lack mindset, lack energy. Trust your intuition with the high priestess here, Pisces, Cancer, energy, because whoever this is, they have hidden intentions about coming back towards you. Okay, they're feeling way down. With the Ten of Wands here, Sagittarius energy. This could be someone who's married. Somebody could be walking away from them in a marriage because this is someone who's not dealing with their demons. They're struggling. They're not dealing with their demons. The yin-yang card is upside down. Okay, this on this part... I like the illustration on the card. Okay. This person struggling to tame the beast within. Okay. If it was upright, okay, that means someone's making peace with their demons, you know, doing their shadow work. There's someone who hasn't been doing their shadow work. They're suppressing their emotions. They struggling. They struggling internally, and I feel like it's being manifested externally. And then they see you at peace. You're happy. You're moving into common waters. You know, you possibly living a life of ease. Things are turning around in your life. You healing. And they want to manipulate that. They want to manipulate the energy. Especially if they're if somebody's walking away from them that they're married to, or somebody's asking them to leave that they live with. Okay, this could be someone who they ask for help and they just breadcrumb. They get them a little here, a little there, not really fully trying to help this person because they know this person needs to be independent. What they broke ass. Okay, let's see. For Libra spirit, what does Libra need to know? We have the Emperor card here. Okay. You do have a divine medicine who wants to give you um, a cup of love. But somebody's trying to keep this person from moving towards you, from traveling towards you. They want to misdirect this masculine. So this could be someone who knows that someone likes you and they want this person, you know, to look at you a certain way. Creating an illusion. The seven cups want to come out. Aries and Scorpio energy is significant. They want to create some type of illusion to this person about you. Okay. But this is someone who looks at you as the healthy choice in love anyway. Gemini energy. Okay, they've been nostalgic about you. Scorpio energy, reflecting a lot. Okay, on the good times. Okay, someone also could be reflecting on a karmic, learning lessons. So someone's learning a karmic lesson. Okay, this could have been someone who's invested in a karmic. Or this could be you. Maybe you're reflecting, okay, on a karmic that you were invested in. Okay, learning a lesson, which is bringing in a big opportunity. Okay, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, and whoever this King of Wands is, they watching you, stalking you to see who you gonna come towards. So a King of Cups, possibly Pis Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, someone who wants victory and success with you. Someone who sees a ton of cups with you. They trying to block this person from coming towards you by talking ill will about you. Doing some type of smear campaign for Libra. What does Libra need to know? The Four of Coins want to come out. This is someone trying to gain control of how someone sees you, Libra. Okay, because someone wants to work and collab with you. And that's the truth, truth and clarity. And whoever this is that you set boundaries with, they nostalgic about you too. And they feel some type of way because they know it's a masculine, okay, who's been putting in the work on themselves, soul searching. Okay, and this is your match. You have somebody that's your match. For some, okay, there could be um a divine masculine who has a manipulative baby mother okay who wants this person to ghost you or they don't want this person to come towards you because they support this person and they know if they come towards you okay that they won't be supporting them in the same way that they've been supporting them okay they know they're gonna be able to pay the bills or take care of themselves or whatever okay that's why they're working and collabing with this person let's see we have a lot of cups but this is someone who sees you as a romantic interest 
okay? They could be leaving someone else out in the cold and they feel some type of way about it. We got the Seven of Wands here. This could be someone who's protecting their assets. Okay. Someone could be really protective of you as well. So, like, let's say somebody has been talking mess about you, Libra. You could have someone in your energy. Could be a family member. Could be a friend. I don't know. Y'all use your discernment. Okay. You're very smart. Use your discernment. Trust your intuition. Okay. But I do feel like there is someone who is watching somebody cre trying to create challenges for you and they trying to speak up for you too. Okay. So, you do have someone who's a, a good energy in your energy who's trying to be protective of you as well. Okay, this could be someone that you've been working and collabing with. Someone who you know is like, um, you know, a positive person. Okay. But you do have someone who's trying to create challenges for you. They don't want someone to see the truth. For Libra, we got the Ace of Wands. This is someone who wants a new passion in the beginning. So you got a new passion in the beginning coming and a new beginning in love. One of these people want to give you their heart. One of these people want to give you the good good. One of these people want to give you the heart, and one of these people want to give you the good good, okay? And I really feel like you're going to be really um, cautious or protective of yourself around whoever this is that want to give you the good good. So if you feel like you're feeling a bit defensive, a guarded towards whoever this person, that's the person who has been talking shit about you. This person who's trying to give you the good good, that's the person who's been trying to talk mess about you. And I see you rejecting this person with the four of cups here, cancer energy. Because you know this person is a sneak. With the seven of swords, you know they're a liar. And for some, they're out here sneaking and they already in a connection. Make that make sense. So this is giving me like somebody, look, somebody done messed up a situation where they were at, whether they were married or lived with somebody else. Because they out here sneaking on somebody who they were in a connection with, they were in a relationship with. Okay, now they want to come back towards you, give you this bogus ass one. Okay, I don't care how good it is, they bogus. Okay, knowing, mm -mm. I feel like you already know what it is. Okay, you know this person is a sneak, you know they're a cheat, you know they're a liar, you're gonna reject them. Okay, to start this new beginning, and you definitely gonna have a decision to make. Okay, because this is someone who was trying to stall a situation. Okay, or they were very indecisive about you, they didn't want to choose. Okay, they could have had somebody and tried to put you on the side or they had you and they got somebody else on the side. Flip the story, take a high next for you because you could be the one that's married to this person or you could be the person who lived with this person and you realizing you got somebody out here sneaking, having intimate times with other people, okay? And you have an opportunity to um, go towards someone who's going to be your energetic match because then on top of that, whoever this is, they could possibly even be pillow talking to you, pillow talking about you. Or they're going around talking to family, friends, or whatever about you. To have these people feeling some type of way about you. So be mindful. For Libra, what does Libra need to know? You guys have the temperance card in reverse. This is someone who is very impatient. They're going to try to rush you. I'm going to tell you that right now. This is someone who's going to try to rush you. They're going to try to come in fast and get in your pants fast. Just to gain control. With the four of pentacles here. Yeah, they've been thinking about this. This is a karmic who you already learned the lesson about. This is someone very toxic. They got toxic beliefs, behaviors, addictions that they're still investing in. They still investing in or they still investing in a karmic relationship. Okay, trying to hold on to you. So be mindful. Let's see. For Libra, we got the Ten of Wands and they feeling weighed down. This is someone who's burdened. Okay, they carrying baggage and then they want to release their baggage into you or onto you. Flip the the rose. They got everything that's view. This is the feminine... She just coming to ride that stick so that she can release her burdens and then move the fuck back on. Then, if it's a masculine, okay, they're trying to release their burdens inside of you and then just move on. Like, they're not even trying to really be here for a long time. They're there for a good time. And they want to control. With the Four of Pentacles here, okay, whoever this is, they've been reflecting. And I feel like you already know that this karmic is a waste of your time. Okay, you already learned the lesson. I mean, unless you want to learn the lesson again. So be mindful because it's someone who's trying to gain control. Create some type of soul tie, a karmic soul tie. They're trying to bind you to them, Libra. And you have a new opportunity coming in. You're attracting abundance. They're trying to be able to breadcrumb your abundance, intercede your karma. Okay. King of Wands, Aries, Leo says they've been watching you, studying you. Okay. Stalking you, spreading gossip and rumors about you. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They also could be, um, if they have a mask, and for some, it's a mask who is friends with somebody. And they friend ain't really they friend. They really an enemy. They working against this mask and they working against you. So be mindful. Okay. Because you do have someone who sees victory and success with you. They see the Ten of Cups with you. We got the Ten of Pentacles. Something that's going to last long term. Okay. And it's about your next choice. 
when it comes to your future, okay? What do you see? You can even be in your head about it, okay? But you're gonna have to be strong and confident when it comes to fiercely taking action towards rejecting somebody, King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Somebody who's sneaky, deceptive, a liar, and a cheat, especially when it comes to a relationship. They lying about it, and I see you taking a leap of faith to start new. But it's all about the decisions that you're making. The next one, don't make a blind decision, okay? Because I do see something working out, even with your finances, okay? There could be something that you've been invested in, okay, that's going to give you some type of payout or it's going to attract abundance. And again, this person broke. They see you making money. They want to be able to bread from you. It's a hell no. Mm -mm. I don't like this energy. One of these energies is cool, but somebody trying to throw you under the bus to somebody who... They can even be cool with, locked in with, or at least that's what this other person thinks that they locked in for, for, for on a timestamp. Okay, the whole time they being a snake towards they, they so-called friend. If this ain't your friend, it's going to be a masculine friend who's trying to keep them away from you. Okay, anyway, especially if they have feelings for you, or not feelings for you, if they want to be able to get the good good and this other person got feelings for you, they want to beat them to it, get the good good from you. Okay. But anyway, that's the energy reading for Libra.